Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the DCEU and the new Flash film. We have some new rumours we need to talk about that you guys would definitely be interested in because it's related to the Flash film, Supergirl and also Wonder Woman. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DCEU videos later this year. Okay, so as you guys may know, we do cover the DCEU on this channel and I've been doing it a lot more recently. Some of my recent videos have included some news where we talked about some of it, but today this is going to be a full-on DCEU video. I have a lot of topics to go over because there is a lot of new rumours going around and a lot of this has actually been confirmed. The first thing we're going to be talking about is in regards to the Flash film. And now, Gal Gadot, at the end of the year, like a lot of people, posted some photos. However, she didn't post like a normal photo being like, oh, this was one of the greatest moments of my year. Instead, she had this whole long Instagram reel where she included loads of photos and some people, cleverly enough, paused it at certain points and noticed something very interesting. So back in July, there was a photo which you can see on the screen right here in her Instagram reel. And the photo could mean anything. She could be somewhere preparing for another film role or anything really. She could be just preparing to go somewhere. However, if you look at the person behind her, you can see that person is wearing a red lanyard. Now, if you look at this next photo that people found online, this is actually a lanyard that they used on the Flash film, and they were filming in London in Warner Brothers Studios' Leavesden. So this is pretty much official confirmation that Gal Gadot is going to be showing up at least for a cameo role in the Flash film. And so this was back in July. They were filming then. I even saw the Flash set. I saw Ezra Miller. I saw... Kirstie Clements, I saw them out in London when they were filming. It was during that time when Supergirl was up in the air and you got to see Sasha Kelly for the first time in her new Supergirl costume. I'm sure you guys remember those leaks. Well, I was there on the day and it was super exciting. However, they continued to film and obviously they were filming some stuff in studios and it seems secretly, along with, I'm sure they've filmed lots of other cameo roles for the film considering that this is their Flashpoint film, it's their multiverse film. It seems that they actually filmed some Wonder Woman scenes and it seems that Gal Gadot was actually there for quite a long time so she may in fact have a substantial role in the film. Now, I'm not talking like a feature role, I'm talking like a supporting role, because she definitely wasn't there for the whole time that they filmed the Flash film. However, she was there from July till August, so that's at least like four weeks of shooting or something, or maybe three weeks, it depends when in July she actually went over to London to film. But you can see this photo in August, and it quite clearly shows her in the same dressing room, or a similar dressing room, and she literally has the Wonder Woman tiara on. So you can see this right here, and this is in August, so literally the month afterwards. And so 100% she's going to be showing up in the Flash film. And this obviously was her trying to hide it, but maybe it was kind of a teaser for fans to get excited about Wonder Woman potentially showing up. I don't know if she did it on purpose. I know it's just like a kind of recap of the year. Like you're gonna show the coolest photos you have and like the coolest things you did. And obviously this was cool for her. This was one of her most memorable moments over the summer at least. So I'm not sure if she did it on purpose or not, but nevertheless, this is official confirmation that she's going to be showing up as Wonder Woman in The Flash. Now we don't know if this is our normal version of Wonder Woman. It could be any other version of herself because as I mentioned, this is the multiverse and we're gonna be seeing lots of different versions of characters. Like we even have another darker version of Barry Allen as far as we know. Potentially there's Reverse Flash, there is this different Batman. Also we're gonna have Ben Affleck's Batman and a potential passing of the torch onto Keaton. There are so many different possibilities about what could be happening, but it's great to have confirmation that yeah, Wonder Woman is gonna be showing up in the Flash. That is super exciting. Now, talking about the Flash set, I have a photo here, thought it was cool, and I thought I would include it in this video. So, this photo is of Ezra Miller and Maribel Verdu. Now, you guys may know her from Pan's Labyrinth, she plays Mercedes in that film. And the reason that she is in a photo with Ezra Miller is, in fact, because she's going to be playing Barry Allen's mum in the film. She's going to be Nora Allen. Obviously, you guys know, if you're a Flash fan, what happens to Nora. She gets killed by Reverse Flash in the past, 
and I'm pretty sure that is canon to this film and to the DCEU because you have to remember Henry Allen, Barry's dad, was framed for the murder of Nora by Reverse Flash and so I don't know if they're going to be comic accurate or they're going to be similar to how the TV show did it with Grant Gustin and Reverse Flash but it seems we're going to be including time travel, we're going to be going back to the time that Nora was alive and that's why you have the two of them together on set and I really can't wait to see Nora Allen in the film especially because I really like the actress. Okay so let's move on. This leads on from what we've been talking about. There have been many rumours recently and there's been rumours for a long time about the future of Superman and Batman in the DCEU and it came as quite a surprise that Ben Affleck is coming back as Batman in The Flash However, it makes a lot more sense now that Michael Keaton is showing up in the film, but he's also going to show up in Batgirl, so we can pretty much see what is happening. There is going to be a passing of the mantle back to Keaton, who will be the DCEU's new version of Batman, even though he will have past experience being Batman from his own world. But a huge new leak just came out. Now, this is coming from a Twitter user called My Time to Shine Hello. They have a pretty solid track record of the in the past so they do have some solid information but you have to take this with a grain of salt because things can change and maybe this isn't 100% accurate but I'm gonna go ahead and read it because it does have big implications so the first leak and there's two leaks is that Supergirl now is the main soups of Earth and Keaton is Batman and Batgirl will become the new Batman after her film so that is the first leak now let's talk about this in regards to Supergirl. So, Supergirl becoming the main House of L member on Earth, I guess that's how you would properly say it instead of Supes, makes a whole lot of sense because we are predicting they're going to make a Supergirl film after the Flash film comes out because more likely than not, fans are going to be excited to see Supergirl on the big screen for the first time in a long ass time. Obviously, she's been on TV with Melissa Benoist's version and that's what's popularized her and even Sasha Kelly has been seen watching Supergirl like she posted some stories and she's made it pretty clear that she's heavily influenced by Melissa Benoist's version of Supergirl. But with her taking on a big role in the Flash film, it makes sense that they want to create a Supergirl film to come out sometime afterwards. And with Henry Cavill's future in the DCU very uncertain as they haven't even announced Man of Steel 2 and it doesn't seem that they have any intention of doing it. It makes complete sense that they want to go over to Supergirl who is very popular right now thanks to the TV show and I actually think this is a great move from my point of view because I love Supergirl and I can't wait to see what Sasha Kale does with the role. Okay so moving on so Keaton is Batman which makes sense, like I said, he's probably taken on Ben Affleck's role as the Batman of the DCEU, but what's interesting is that they say Batgirl will become the new Batman, so the leading member of the Bat family after her film. So we all know that Michael Keaton is showing up in the new Batgirl film, but it seems that maybe it's going to be another passing of the mantle over to Batgirl who will become the new Batman or the new leading member of the Bat family in the future of the DCU because I don't really see them making a Michael Keaton led Batman film although that would be awesome, I would love to see it. It does make sense that they want to pass it on to a younger generation of heroes that being Supergirl and Batgirl and I'm so down for it. Okay so the next leak is this, the movie ends with and this is talking about the Flash film, the Flash and Supergirl and Shazam forming a new Justice League. Obviously we know that Zack Snyder's Justice League isn't a proper big thing that's going to be happening in the future because of his departure from the franchise and their disagreements. So as we've mentioned before, it doesn't seem like Ben Affleck and Henry Cavill and their versions of the characters have much of a future in the DCEU. So if this Flash film ends, obviously, correcting everything that went wrong and stopping Flashpoint from actually happening and making this new version of the DCEU. Obviously with the timeline changes there is big ramifications for the future and they can form things in a different way and basically reset what they want to reset because of these changes and so one of those changes will be to do with the Justice League and so we'll see the Flash who obviously has a big future ahead of him considering that they are finally making the film and it's coming out later this year in November and then Supergirl as I mentioned who has a big future ahead of her 
considering that we have the new film that potentially could come out in the next few years whenever they make that with Sasha Calais. That's going to be huge when that comes out. And then also Shazam, who has Shazam Fury of the Gods coming out very soon. It makes 100% sense that you would see them as the leading members of the new Justice League. Obviously with Supergirl being the new version of Superman and, and although we won't see Batgirl in this film, although there could be a cameo, you have The Flash who was an original Justice League member and then Shazam who is one of the biggest Justice League members in the comics even though he hasn't shown up with the Justice League in the DCEU yet but that's because he came along later. So what do you guys think about all of this? This is not 100% confirmed and even David F. Sandberg, the director of the Shazam films has commented on the fact that he doesn't know about Shazam being included in the Justice League. So again that kind of puts into question the validity of the source. However there is always the chance that he is just leading us the wrong way like filmmakers do all the time because they don't want us to know the exact in and outs of what's going to happen in future films so again you have to take it all with a big grain of salt but if it does turn out to be true and Supergirl is a new Superman and Batgirl is a new Batman what would you think of it I think it would make for an interesting Justice League after that they've released all of their films so that being the Flash, and then Batgirl's come out, and then they've made Supergirl, and then the new Shazam has come out, and then eventually they're going to build to a big Justice League film that is going to be a sort of reboot of Zack Snyder's Justice League, although I think it will continue on from there, it won't completely erase it, it will just be a new team, and a younger generation of heroes, I'm all here for it. So that about does it for this video guys, thank you guys so much for watching, if you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. It really helps out the channel if you can do that. Also, subscribe and turn on notifications to not miss any future videos. Remember, The Flash is coming out later this year. We're going to be making lots of videos in regards to that. And obviously, we have a big focus on The Flash and Supergirl on the channel. So any news in regards to a potential Supergirl film or TV show will be sure to cover as well. And before you leave, you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. But for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.